continues on Chappaquiddick. Chappie, as the locals call it, is a peninsula that's part of Edgartown. People get here via ferry that takes just four minutes. When you arrive, no shops or restaurants, just six square miles of secluded nature. You're out here on your own. It's a nice residential island. We have our only refuge of Chappaquiddick is maintained by the trustees. Here on the 518-acre trustees-owned Cape Pogue Wildlife Refuge, Shannon Hurley gives beach tours. Ours begins on Dyke Bridge, infamous as the site of the 1969 crash of a car driven by the late Senator Ted Kennedy. His passenger, political aide Mary Jo Kopechny, was killed. For visitors seeking rugged natural beauty, Dyke Bridge leads the way to a barrier beach. We are over Pocha Pond here. It leads up to Cape Pogue Bay via this channel, and that bay connects us to the Atlantic Ocean. I love Martha's Vineyard! With wind in our hair, we get some sand in our tires. This beach is raw, it's wild, it's unlike any other beach I've been to on the island. Calmer waters ahead. We are here at Cape Pogue Bay. This is our large eelgrass lagoon. It's kind of usually a nice bathtub temperature to come and play around, beach comb, kayak. A place to relax and take a breath. Be able to feel safe and secure in this past year I think has been important and it helped us to understand just how important it is to keep this land open for everyone. From Chappie, we head to the town of West Tisbury, passing roadside attractions, including these sculptures at the Field Gallery of Contemporary Art. Our plan this afternoon, garden gazing. Ian Yoakums is grounds manager and arborist at the 22-acre nonprofit Polly Hill Arboretum. Hill was a renowned horticulturalist who passed away in 2007 at age 100. Her parents were the owners of this land originally, the Bernard Inn Farm, and she took it over in 1957 when she was 50 years old. Worked on this land for about 45 years, and brought over 1,800 different species of plants to the property. Polly's mission here was to try to push the boundaries of what could horticulturally survive on the island. That's because Hill thought the vineyard's plant life was a bit lacking, says Yoakums. So Hill grew species that normally falter in New England weather, including monkey puzzle trees and stewardia. The ocean around us really helps buffer the environment, the climate we're in. Our spring is really slow to come in. It's about two weeks to a month behind the mainland. But then also we're really, really slow to go into the fall. So the plants here, they go through less shocks. West Tisbury is very agrarian, very agricultural land area. So we'd want to stay true to the feel of West Tisbury, the old stone walls, the old farmland, while still pushing the boundaries a little bit. These are garlic chives and uh, scallions. A very different garden blooms in Vineyard Haven, a garden dedicated to making kimchi. I think sometimes people think they know what it is, but they really don't. Kimchi is Korea's most famous food, a spicy fermented side dish usually made with Napa cabbage or radish. In the West, kimchi has a cult following as a probiotic food. There are a thousand different variety of kimchi. As a teen, Jason Thayer immigrated to the U.S. from Seoul. When she moved to the vineyard in the 1970s, no one here sold kimchi. So Thayer made it herself. Back then, I was making kimchi with uh, the pepper flakes that you get from like pizza place. Today, Martha's Vineyard Kimchi is Thayer's small batch business, made with her garden ingredients. In my kimchi, it's salt, scallion, garlic, ginger, hot pepper, that's it. Any fermenting that goes on, it's a anaerobic process. It's being fermented, it's not quite ready yet. You have to pack it tight and weigh it down. Right now, in the summer, 
It takes about three or four days. In the winter, it might take a week. Thayer sells to shops and restaurants on the vineyard, including Rosewater Market and Takeaway in Edgartown. She doesn't plan to expand, keeping true to her original goal. I just want to introduce kimchi to the American neighbors. And Jason Thayer says it was her children who gave her the idea to start uh, Martha's Vineyard Kimchi. She actually used to own a small restaurant on the island as well. That's very nice. And back to Chappie, it's a favorite spot for bird watching, mm -hmm. and the Barrier Beach is always changing. So it's important to be prepared. If you're going to drive out there, you have to deflate your tires in order to drive onto the sand. And they suggest that you bring tow equipment because people often get stuck. Mm. Yeah. Be nice to be able to get out of there. <laughs>